Hey there, I am V. Welcome back to my channel for another pick a card reading. And this one is on what is your soul's purpose. We have three piles in front of you. Number one with September. Number two with May. And number three, two came out. Wasn't sure which one to go with, so we have two now for pile number three. If you are new to pick cards, this is how we do things. We close our eyes and we breathe in together and try to push your thoughts out and think of your question. What is my soul's purpose? Let's breathe in together. And out as you push your thoughts out. Open your eyes. Which pile do you think holds your message? And feel free to choose one or two or watch the full video. Whatever you have time for, whatever you're pulled to do. Timestamps are waiting for below. Waiting below for each pile that you choose so you can skip ahead. One, two, and three. Let me know which one you choose. And please subscribe if you like to see more pick cards every single day. Number one, September, you are up first. All right, Pana Blue 1, you chose September. Let me know why you chose this, if it means anything to you at all, or just the way it looked, or your intuition told you to go with this one, let me know. Thank you so much. All right, so what I'm getting with this, this reading for you, I feel that your spiritual journey is, yeah, you're on the, on the path already. You're on the road. On the road again. You're... Either in the middle of your your awakening or in the middle of your discovery, your path, you know. You already started. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. See, you you already started. You're all now all you need to do is keep on keep on down your path. Look, you have new business opportunities coming through, new baby, new ideas. You're just diving into your into the abyss, into your, the depth of your soul. You're really, wow, you're, yeah, look, it says accelerating. Accelerating motion, number eight. We're getting the infinity sign as well, infinity in that number eight. All right, so it's like everlasting. It's like you're going to keep keep on diving into your spirituality. You're going to keep on down the ra rapid hole. Keep on, it's just, it's never ending for you. You have so much work to do. It, whether it's in this lifetime, another lifetime. All right. <clears throat> the next thing we have here is dog. The animal guides of Avalon, the dog. Loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. I'm getting like the full card here. We have news of a birth or a new business opportunity. I'm getting the full with this dog. Uh, loyalty, sincerity, you know, the full with his dog uh, on this quest. Um, we have younger women. See, we have, I'm getting full energy dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Um, it can, This can be you. You know, maybe you're a, a young person going down this this new awakening, this this uh, evolution that you're experiencing. You know, like you're just, you're, it's just, you're just spiraling down the rabbit hole of self-discovery, self-mastery. Um, and you might find some new friends. You might find some... Yeah, you might discover, a, you know, parts of yourself that you never knew was there. Or you might come across other people who are going down the same path, the same lane. Look, we have Find Your Tribe here. We have Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. See, we're, you're on the road, my friend. Your path is taking you places. You're going to learn so much. So now exactly what... Okay, what can you look forward to down this spiritual path? What can you look forward to? Look, <laughs> money or property through the, through an inheritance, winning or windfall. But it's a long ride. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting a long journey. Evolution, number eight. Okay. So what can you look forward to? So you might meet somebody. You might, you know, bring somebody along with you. You might find your tribe, like-minded people. There's a lot for you to uncover, discover, explore, find out. 
Now this, uh, what you need to steer clear from, or what you need, to, what else do you need to know about this spiritual quest that you're on? And September could be that, you know, that's when it's starting, or maybe that's your birth, birth month, but that's when you'll, um, that's when uh, things will start pe picking up. You got heating up here. So, um, okay, so what you need to steer clear from, we have deception. So look out for the people who don't have your best interest when it comes to, um, you know, whose advice or whose shoulder you lean on going forward. You might find some either naysayers or uh, people who might want to distract you from your goal or, or, or send you down the wrong path, you know, like you might find somebody within your tribe that you that might not be too trusting who can offer that valuable assistance or guidance or shoulder or ear okay so just watch out for somebody in your circle or meeting somebody along the way and you know as long as you use your intuition you should be in good hands we have find your tribe yes find people you know who are like you and going down this lane with them you're gonna have the loyal people but then you might have people who are like you know, you know, they see that you're doing great things and they're like, wait a minute, nope. If I can't do what you're doing, then I don't want you doing it. You know, misery loves company. So look out for those ne negative Nancys, negative Nellies, energy vamps. Oh my gosh. This says bird, bird perched waiting for news package letter. So what that is telling me is that you will receive... Like I said, we have news already here. News here and then news again. So you finding out, you know, different parts of your of yourself along the way, you know? Different parts of your spirituality, you know, maybe you're diving more into your sexuality or who you are on this planet, what you're supposed to do. So we have things will heat up. Let's see what that means. What things will heat up? What what things will heat up? What things will heat up for you? Power number one. What things will heat up for you? What things will heat up for you? Power number one. <laughs> we got the sun. Happiness and well-being. All right. So things are going to pick up. That's what this is saying. Look, so maybe some healing perhaps. The sun. Yes. Heating up. The sun. Yes. You maybe. Wow. You feeling like you get, you're getting your life again. You know? That power. That strength. What does the sun give you? Power, life, vitality, right? Vitamin D. Oh, man, you're going to find out so many good things about yourself. Okay, what else will heat up? Let's see. What else will heat up for you? Lovely power number one. We have the owl. Good advice from a wise person. Wow. And then we have dealing or a relationship with the woman and in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Wow. Oh, my stars. Okay, so basically what this is saying to me is that within your tribe, okay, so first of all, you, you're going to be going through a lot. You're going to go you're up through ups and downs, okay, in a fast motion. It's, it's, you're, it's picking up, it's picking up, it's picking up. And while you're on this path, you're going to find your tribe. There's going to be bad advice, deception, unreliable guidance, right? So on your path, you're going to find, you know, people who are not for you or who just want to see you fail, unreliable guidance in your, within your tribe, okay? But then you have good advice from a wise person and in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you are also going to find people who are going to be for you and who want to see you succeed, okay? So you're going to come across two different people or a bunch of different people make sure you weed through the trash make sure you stay clear from the people who are going to be you know deceptive and focus on the people who you know you can tell you can tell what their intentions are you can tell you can tell that they want to help you or they you can tell that their heart is very pure you will be able to tell okay my friend um you can be dealing with younger people this is probably you uh, older people, you know, wise people, people who are already who already evolved spiritually or who are still going through their evolution spiritually. Um, we have the elephants here, long journey. So this, like I said, everlasting. This is gonna be continuous. Don't think just because you found something out, that's it. No, you're not done. You still have more more learning to do. 
And look, waiting is here, waiting so you're continuously waiting. The boat, you know, doesn't take overnight for you to get to your the end of your road. You just could oh your end of your your uh, your destination, your trip, you're just gonna keep on evolving. And news of birth or a new business opportunity, some new things coming through. News coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. It's just nonstop for you, my friend. Okay, so I would say good luck to you and keep on learning and keep on applying what you learn. It always applies the wisdom that you, you know, attain from others who have walked the path before you. Always try to apply the knowledge that people pass down to you. Apply it, learn it, absorb it, and then apply it to you. See, you have loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. And then we have good advice, right? Helping hands and your tribe. So you're going to find some good, solid people who are going to want nothing but the best for you. So make sure you choose wisely who you want to be in your social circle. Um, and watch out for the naysayers, like I said, the bad people, the bad apples. So thank you for watching your spiritual journey. You know, I'm not supposed to tell you what you're going to find or what, you know, what news you're going to get. That's for you to decipher and for you to discover. I'm here to just tell you that you're on the right path and what to give you guidance in. And that's to help you, um, you know, weed out the bad apples from your life who, you know, going forward, once you become more stronger, you're going to have more of those people coming into your life because they want to dim your light. You're lighting up, right? You're like the sun. Things are heating up. You're ascending. And you want the you don't want the negative vampires to you know drain the life out of you, the life force out of you. Okay, so stay in your highest vibration. Keep on evolving, ascending, rising like a phoenix, and do your thing. And everybody else will fall away. Okay, do us ask for help or do take the help if you can, and offer help as well to those who are just starting their path. You're already in the middle of your path. You're in the midst of it all. So maybe you can offer help or assistance to someone else who's just starting. We can learn from our teachers. We can learn from our students, right? Much love. And now we're on to pound number two. Pound number two, what do we have for you? Hello. We have May. Let me know why you chose May. And I would like to invite you to uh, join us on Thursdays. We have an intuition strengthening and enhancing workshop. We just gaze at images without the words and we see what stories we can come up with. It's, you know, a good practice for us to build our intuition. Join us if you are interested every Thursday here on my channel. You have Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. We have prosperity, so new seeds forming, new things progressing or things progressing in your life uh you know you're, you're on the verge of wow seeing how your journey unfolds i feel like you're further down your path and this is to say that you're on the right one think look see things are sprouting so you're doing the right thing you're doing the, the work that you need to do keep on going see you have begun already prosperity begins because you have already started this is a freaking tree right now this is not just a little sprout Okay, so now what else do you need to know about your path, my friend? We have restrictions here. So what this is telling me is that maybe there's going to be, you know, some blockages, some tests, some challenges, you know, and it's up to you to figure out if you want to plow through them or if you want to return where you came from to where you came from or if you want to take a detour. This is saying how much strength do you have it in you to get through these challenges, you know? Your spiritual path is about testing you, uh, showing you, showing you the way, leading you, guiding you, pushing you. Unsuccessful plans. So, wow. So it's like saying, how far are you willing to go down your path? When things get hot and heavy, will you f be like, okay, I'm restricted. I'm go I'm turning away. I'm done. And then, look, you, you become unsuccessful. You give up, and you'll be unsuccess unsuccessful. So, look, you have started something, so you can't go back now. You have to keep going down the rabbit hole. Okay, we have, or keep going down the well. Family wishes come true. We talked about rabbit hole. We got the well, and it's they're both deep down into the ground. So this is saying you have to do some more digging. You have to go deep into the crevice of your soul, you know, dealing with your shallow, shadows and, and, and burying, like not burying, <laughs> digging out what's been buried, like you going further into yourself, 
figuring out what you need to, you know, clean up and seeing what's there, you know, just keep on going, keep on diving, diving into your spirit, into who you, you, you want to be or diving into the answer, looking for answers within you. And if you keep diving, look what we have here. Look, coins. It's like you going down the gold mine. Oh, I struck gold. Oh, there's my pot of gold. There's my silver. There's my uh, my diamonds, my money. Oh my gosh. So you, if you keep on, look, we even have finances will improve. So that to me is saying if you keep on diving, keep on going down this spiritual quest of yours, and you know, getting through the potholes, the restrictions, the no signs, you will find out so much. You will discover richness, my friend. We even have, look, cultivation. It's cultivation, achieving refinements. This is you, you know, wow, this is you, you know, craft, you know, mastering your craft. Yes, refining. It's like you're taking your chisel and you're going at it. You're going at it. You're carving, you're carving, you're digging, you're digging, you're, you're finding, you're finding, fine tuning, fine tuning. That's what I feel is going to happen to you if you keep on down your path. If you keep on digging, yes. We even have chair, fi chair filled, someone new entering your life. So you might meet some new people who are doing the same thing as you. You know, Alice in Wonderland going down the rabbit hole, rabbit's hole, and then she finds the Mad Hatter and, and, the, and the Queen and the Cheshire Cat and, oh my gosh, the sly people, the people who are, you know, out to get you, the people who are out to, um, you know, cause harm shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business uh sly people you might find some wise people some crazy people like the mad hatter you got boots increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals see that's what i'm saying even if you have restrictions if you have things stopping you blocking you keep on diving deep and this can be your emotions too if you're like oh no this doesn't feel good it's saying go through it work through it work through it work through it tackle those shadows those fears of yours Achieving, and then you have finances improving, so improving, cultivating, achieving, and then you have new beginnings here. So there's some part of you that you haven't discovered yet. Um, your journey is to give you nothing but blessings and challenges and surprises, and it's up to you to discover them. It's, it's up to you to plow through them, get your, your snow plower and go through the snow mounds go through you know act like the chariot and go through your your potholes and your bumps it's going to be a bumpy and lumpy ride for sure but you're on the right path okay so it's saying to strap on your boots and get your chisel your hammer your shovel hold on let's see what card flo flew out we have two we have man dealing with dealing our relationship with the man we have torch spiritual development see do you see Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. That's exactly what is happening. Development. We have improvements. Achievements. Yes, you're on the right road, my friend. So, you know, you might, might, you might find the love of your life. Or you might, you know, a, a relationship with the love of your life might change or shift or end. You know, things are improving. Things are shifting for you so that, you, you can be in alignment going forward. We have number one. This is, wow, the Ace of Wands. Yes. Wow. <clears throat> this is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. I think it's the Ace of Pentacles. Waiting, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. So I would say, like I said, going forward, um, you might have restrictions. You might have blockages. You might have some dark shadows that don't want to come out or, you know, shadows that are trying to come out, but you're forcing them back in there. You're restricting them from, from resurfacing. You're like, no, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to feel your, I don't want to feel this, this, this emotion right now. No, this is you saying, don't stuff it. Don't restrict yourself from feeling, from healing. Go through it. Go through it. Through the woods. Now this says tree affairs with your family. So maybe things are shifting in the family department down your spiritual journey you maybe you'll find a family a tribe of family maybe you'll find people who are like you ladder climbing towards success see and we have financial improvement so what that to me is, is saying financial improvement that can be you know maybe you diving deeper into a career you know you you maybe you 
will strike, strike gold. You know, you saying, hey, let me see if this is going to work out. And you putting your energy into that. And then look, coins, money flow, money flow, finances improving. And then we have career. See? Maybe you are diving into your career. And you're like, I don't know if this is going to pan out. But look, keep on putting your work. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Look, prosperity, coins, career, financial improvement. You're on the right path with this arrow. It says here, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So this can be your finances. You know, we have dolphin financial gain. Oh, my gosh. Usually coming from something you did in the past. See, you have plants. See, that's what I'm saying. You already did the work, and now you're seeing the things grow. So if this has to do with your career, look, the tree is growing. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Two trees. Look at that. Prosper prosperity begins. So if you are... Wow, if you have built something for yourself, guess what? You'll be able to pluck those apples from the tree and make some apple pie or sell them. If you are currently working on, you know, a relationship, guess what? You, it's going to improve. You're going to go deeper into this connection. You might end up getting married and having a family. We do have family here. Family. If you are, wow, I could say so many things. If you are... You know, learning about your spirituality, learning about your sexuality. Guess what? You have fruits waiting for you. Look, coins. You have all this beautiful stuff waiting for you. Financial gain. This can just be earthly gain, material gain. You finding out physical things, physical parts of yourself, or skills that you have, or um, finding out about your, you know, the deep, the deep, the deepness of your of your soul, like finding out, wow, I didn't know I can do this. I didn't know that I could do that. I didn't know that my ancestors used to do this when they were living. And now, you know, I see myself carrying those traits and, and you know, being very good at my craft. And, you know, so I feel like th this is like touching on so many different things, like the master of all trades, I would say, the cultivating, so creating, the prosperity, achieving refinement, cultivation, this, this, gold, this gold mine that you're coming across, I would say whatever spiritual path you're on, it's going to lead you to an abundance, bountiful. You're going to be bountiful very, very soon, okay, my friend? A lot of improvements, a lot of success, a lot of earthly uh, valuable, earthly valuables that you'll be coming across, whether it's money, yeah, because we have a lot of money here, or it's something that you can grab hold on to, you know? And maybe it's a person. Maybe you're finding the love of your life and you're, fi you're feeling rich. You're, wrap you're, wrap you're wrapping yourself in richness when it comes to love. And, wow, earthly matters, you know? So um, just keep on going down your path. Keep on discovering. Keep on working. And don't give up. Don't give up. Look, the mountain is here. You will get there. He's like, yep, I'm, I'm coming, Mountain. Don't you worry. Look, I'm improving. I'm just refining my craft. I'm, you know, just fine-tuning, and I'm going to keep on digging. I'm going to keep on finding a way to get to you. I'll, I'll make a bridge if I have to. So that's what I have for you. Much love. You are wrapping yourself in richness and then some. Much love. And let me know if you stop by. If you would like to donate to the channel, I do have PayPal, Patreon, and the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. And your name will scroll at the very bottom of my screen if you're interested in that. Links are below. Thank you. Now we're on to pound number three. Okay, pound number three, you chose February and October. Let me know why you chose these two. What really called you to choose these two? Is it because of the way they look or your intuition or the words? and what they mean to you let me know we're doing a, a a thursday workshop you know for enhancing and strengthening and building our intuition so we can become better readers and more intuitive if you want to join us it's every thursday here on my channel and we just look at word deck you know decks that don't have any words and we just come up with our own stories that's all it's for fun All right, pound number three. Wow, you have February and October. February is two, October is ten, ten take your two is eight. Wow, okay, so that's just something that you can look into if you want to look up number eight, see what that means for you. Eight for power, wow, the strength, your courage. All right, so what I'm getting for you, pound number um, two, I feel like 
you're going through this shift, this awakening, this, it might take eight months, it might take eight years, it might take eight weeks, it might take eight days, it might take you to get to uh, August, the eighth month of the year. Um, but I feel like your your path is taking you de deeper into your, your your strength, your courage, your courage, your wow, your core, your core. It's like, but you're in the middle of it. It's not you're not totally there yet. You see, there's still some work to do to get to the full lion. It's like you're halfway there. So, wow, I feel like the work that you're pouring into your into your your yourself, it's it's showing. You're seeing the fruits of your labor. You're halfway there, but you're still seeing results. And you're becoming more powerful. You're becoming more, wow, solid, you know? I'm thinking of someone like a solid tree not being able to be rooted, you know? Like, that's you. You're rooting yourself, rooting yourself. You know who you are. You're becoming very, very, very solid in your whole foundation. You know, your core, it's unshakable. You're becoming who you're supposed to be. You know, you just have more work to, you know, you have more work to put into yourself, you know, get more lessons to go through, to learn, to pick up more knowledge, uh, more people to meet, more things to go through, more experiences. But for the most part, you're ready, you're ready, you're solid, you're solid, wow. Um, we have the axe here, forces working against you. We have forgiveness leaving behind, it's time to move on, and getting back to nature. So this axe here is saying that you might have to cut some stuff out of your your life. You might have to cut some some people out of your, your life, your journey. Whoever doesn't serve your purpose, who doesn't contribute, not serve you as in here, can I, can I get you a cup of coffee? It's more like who doesn't add value to your life. They have no business being in it. The axe is saying it's time for you to make the appropriate adjustments, time for you to figure out what you want in your life, time for you to start, yeah, start making necessary changes, appropriate changes, my friend. And then we have forgiveness. The for forgiveness card is here, you know, it's saying this is part of your growth. This is part of the shadows that you have to deal and face. You know, that's where this bravery comes in. You have to use your bravery, your courage to forgive yourself, forgive others, and try to move on. That's what this is saying. Coercion, leaving behind. Time for you to progress and go down your path, but you have to clear out some, you know, yucky gook, whatever it's called, gook, muk, goo, whatever here is stopping you from moving out of the, the, the quicksand, out of the, the mud, the, the wet, yucky mud that just keeps you there. You have to cut yourself and free yourself from that forgiveness so if you have you know a heavy heart regarding something you know whatever happened to you that left you with you know a bitter taste in your mouth or a heavy heart is saying in order for you to uh go deeper into yourself to your discovery your path your, your spirituality you have to forgive cut cut it away say goodbye time to move on wow and it's going to take, like I said, it might take eight months, eight weeks, eight years. We have clubs. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So you might, oh my gosh, I know what this is saying. I feel that, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, for, you, for most of you, or no, not most of you, I'll say some of you, a portion of you. You might be trying to get out of a relationship. You might be trying to get out of a career. You might be trying to get out of, a, you know, a lifestyle or a religion or a way of thinking, but it's so very, very hard. And something is pulling you back. Like I said, that quicksand, that mud. We have clubs. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. That's like the universe, or not the universe, but people. The universe is trying to align you, but people are trying to pull you back. Take the courage that you have within you and free yourself from whatever it is that's stopping you or hindering your growth, not serving your purpose, adding value to your life. Say goodbye. It's time to move on. And you'll be receiving or giving a precious, be giving, given, wait, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So maybe you need to forgive yourself 
or forgive others. Receiving the forgiveness or giving the forgiveness. Or you having a gift to give to others, but you can't if you're stuck here. Stuck in the muck. We have a lot of weapons here. It's saying to really use your weapons, whether it's your knowledge, your exp expertise, your words, your voice, thinking, your plans, whatever plans you can put in front, you know, put, put into place, start doing it now so that you can get through the muck. You can have a blueprint of what you need to do to get away from the quicksand, to dodge the quicksand, to get on the road without the traffic. When's the best time to leave? When's the best time to move? You lie in, you sit there for 18 hours to rest, but then you pounce, right? Then you attack, then you go for your, what's yours. So, you know, what, when's the best time to get in your truck and drive? Or your car, your van, your moped, your bicycle, whatever. When is the best time to move without the, the traffic jams? It's saying make a plan. And then this is saying get back to basics. Get back to, to where you started. How did you start? How did you get yourself in the situation? Now it's time to get back to the drawing board and figure out another game plan, another lifestyle, another relationship. Or maybe you can come out of this relationship and start being you organically you, organic, natural, you being you, who you were before you met this person, who you were, you know, when you were first born, before you got into this hiccup, who were you? Act like the fool, time to start fresh. Wow, and then we have <clears throat> this right here, coercion, look at that, this man is trying to leave, but she, it's like she's pulling him back, or he's having to pull the weight and he's trying to grab her. He's trying to say, come on, you're, you know, you're slowing me down. If you're with me, you got to be with me, not behind me. I can't pull you. So you got, if you're on this path with me, you have to walk the walk with me. I can't pull you. I'm going to end up hunching my back and, and, and taking on too much, too much weight. So, you know, whoever, like I said, whoever's hindering your growth or weighing you down, you have to use your, your axe and sever sever relationships, sever situations, sever a job, a hobby, a lifestyle that's not working for you, serving your purpose, your highest good. See, she, it's like he's almost on the verge of burnout. He has his wands here. It looks like he, this is the nine of wands, and she's going to make him go into the ten of wands. She's weighing him down. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. You have a lot of lessons to learn, my friend. You have a lot of things to go through. Like I said, I just started that. When I first started this reading, I said you have a lot of things to do, people to see, people to meet, things to experience. And I was going back to that. <laughs> go back to the funnel. Okay, then we have someone working against you behind your back. Wow, okay, so what this is saying, coercion. And then you have the rats here. So you have someone holding you back. You're trying to be the best that you can be. You're trying to make changes, appropriate changes. You're trying to evolve and shift into the lion or the lioness that you are. But then you have somebody working against you. See, someone will try to make you do something against your will. You have forces. You have either you know a job that's holding you back or a lifestyle or a religion that's holding you back or a person and it's going against your will or going against who you, what you believe in. And this is saying you have to make the appropriate adjustments, appropriate changes, feng shui things out, people out, whatever you need to do to uh, help yourself evolve into this lion, into this brave, courageous, powerful lion. Look at that power. Okay, so whatever you need to do, whatever change that may be, whether it's, okay, I, I choose not to smoke anymore, or I choose not to associate with this person anymore, I choose not to work for this company for peanuts anymore, I choose not to wake up at 9 o'clock at nighttime anymore, I want to wake up at 6 p.m. at night so I can go to work at 12 a.m., you know, if, whatever schedule, whatever lifestyle you live, it's saying make the appropriate adjustments so that you can get your body right, so you can get yourself, your spirit right, so you can keep on progressing down your path. You can move on swiftly, gracefully, and get back to basics, okay? Get back to how things used to be. Much love to you. Let me know if this makes sense. If you would like to support this channel, 
check out my links below i have paypal patreon and i also have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button and your name will scroll at the very bottom of my my videos to say thank you much love and let me know that you stopped by by choosing number three putting that in the comments bye bye